Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these beautiful beaded pose earrings. I'm doing it with prick stitch but if you're not familiar again I want to stress out that I will show everything in easy steps. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and in this way be inspired often. And all of you please like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions. A lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. So without further delay let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 OC beads, white and iris. Here I'm also using earring findings, liver bags. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters of thickness or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 as well. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my first step I'm taking two iris beads, one white and one iris. And I'm going to slide those down. Then what I do is that I go through these two iris beads and I pull. And then I have these two rows next to each other. Then I go through the white and through the iris like this. Now I want to make a knot here. I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made. And then I pull. And what I do is that I go through these two beads, the iris and the white. Then I take one white and one iris. I go back through these two beads like this. And then I go back through the following two. So I'm making columns of two beads, then two iris beads white and iris iris and white And I have two iris beads. Now I'm going through this iris and diagonal diagonally through the following iris. And I will continue this with double brick stitch. I take two iris and two white beads. I go here under the first thread bridge that I have. You see between the iris and the white. And I pull. If you're not familiar with this stitch, don't worry. I will show it really easy so you will be able to do this. I'm going through these two white beads okay and I will continue adding white columns in this direction by going under the next thread bridge and through these two whites so I started the row with four beads but I will continue this with adding two, okay, another two white beads 
and I go under the next thread bridge between the white and the iris in the center and I go back like this okay Okay, my friends, and I just added these two white beads at the last thread bridge. But I want to add two more iris and because I'm out of thread bridges, I will add them at the same thread bridge where I add the white beads. Okay, like this. And backwards. Okay, I have my first two rows ready. For the next row, I take four beads this time for iris and I go under the first thread bridge. I always go under the first thread bridge when I want to increase so the next row will be with more beads than the previous one. Okay, I went there and then I'm going through the two beads that are closer to the center. Now I'm going to make five columns of two white beads. Okay, so I have five columns of two white beads and then I need two more columns of iris beads. I'm adding here the first one at the last thread bridge and the second one at the same thread bridge. Okay, my friends, and every next row I start with four beads. This time, two iris, one white, and one iris. And because for now I increase, I will go under the first thread bridge here between the first and the second iris beads. Okay, I go like this. Then I go through the two that are closer to the center, the iris and the white. Then I take two iris beads. And go back like this. What I need next are four columns of two white beads. Then I need two iris beads. A white and an iris at the last thread bridge. And two iris at the last thread bridge as well.
Okay, my friends, and I'm starting my next row with two iris and two white beads. I'm still increasing. That is why I will go under the first thread bridge here between the iris and the white. And I'm going to pull. Go through the two whites. Two white beads again. Two iris. Iris and white. Iris and white. And again, iris and white. Two iris. Two columns of two white beads. And at the last step, two iris beads. Three iris and one white bead to start the next row. And this time, guys, I go under the second thread bridge, not under the first, but under the second, where the two white beads are next to each other. Okay. Then in my next step, I'm going through the white and the iris, which are closer to the center like I did before. But here I want to do an additional step. Go back through these two iris beads and then backwards through the white and through the iris. Why I do this? Because when I go through the second thread bridge, my beads stretch and I need to make them stay nice and tight next to each other. Then I need two iris beads. White and iris. Two iris. Two iris, white and iris, two iris. Iris and white. And two iris beads at the last thread bridge. And here I'm not adding any more beads because this row is decreasing. Now I need four iris beads and I go under the second thread bridge here. Repeat the same thing as before, just make an additional reinforcement. Always when you make a decreasing row, make this reinforcement because as you go through the second thread bridge, you need to make your beads stay nice and tight. 
Now two white beads two more white beads two iris beads And now two columns of two white beads and two columns of two iris beads. Now guys, I want to make some thread repositioning, okay? I'm going here through these two beads. Then I go in the next iris. And diagonally here. Through this second iris. Counting from here. Okay? And then I take three iris and one white and I go here under the second thread bridge of where I'm exiting. You see I'm exiting out of this one. This is the first one and the second is between those two white beads. Then the steps are the same. I go here like this and because I decrease I need to reinforce Two columns of two iris. Then iris and a white and by the way this is the last white bead that I'm adding here. Then I take two iris beads take two iris go under the second thread bridge reinforce these two another iris this time I'm adding them one by one and if you're not familiar this is called single brick stitch or only brick stitch okay here I add one now I start another row the same way with two beads and going under the second thread bridge. Again reinforcing. Now I take two iris beads, my earring finding, and two iris beads, and as I'm exiting from this bead, I go here in the opposite one. Okay. Then 
then what I do is to zigzag through all of those beads in order to reinforce this final part where you attached your earring finding. Okay, I diagonally go like this. Then like this. And I go through some beads here. And I want to make a knot and cut my thread. I'm making here a loop. I'm going twice through the loop I've made. I'm pulling. Then I'm going through the following. Beads. I take my scissors and I cut this tail thread and by the way you might want to cut this tail thread as well okay my friends and now my beaded bow earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support. Share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page. Also a lot of work goes in this video so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and it comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.